Hey, Tom Rabbit, I hope you got this for your recording. Hey, YouTube out there, Tom Rabbit likes to record these. Hey, Tom Rabbit. Dark, I've listened to your stream with Tom Rabbit. And oh, I well, saw that he, yeah, he yeah. insisted mm -hmm. several times in the same question, which was, I, I quote here, you have affirmed <laughs> that either the Christian God exists or no God exists, there's only one God to talk about. He asked that several times, and you were not straightforward answering to his question. What What was your logic behind not answering what he was um, asking? Because I, because I wanted him first to explain what his atheism was. This was a diversionary tactic. We were supposed to have a discussion on atheism. Okay. okay. And he wasted okay, so the conversation. Oh, let's suppose that wouldn't have oh, been... Hold on a second. Oh, Tangelo, okay. do you think that he was being sincere that whole time or he was just doing a performance of, you know, as the Yiddish say, shtick? That's all it was. It was shtick. I had two interactions with him. I don't know if you have listened to one he put on, no. on his channel. No. And um, he painfully, I mean, he painfully his intention stood was very clear. Yeah, his intention was very clear. He just was looking to find a way to make me look bad, to, to get me, you know, to beat me in the argument. And in the this end, is proof positive how craven they are. This is proof positive. They really, they're not seeking truth and reason. They're just simply trying to stalemate any interaction or throw out something that will nullify what you say, not provide a defeater but something that will just stalemate you of whatever you say so that it doesn't lead to theological significance. These atheists are a train wreck, and he's just another further example of this, okay? I'm more, than, I'm more than able and equipped to defend the Christian worldview, which I do all the time, and the, and the Christian God. He just didn't want to talk about his atheism, okay? See, the fact of the matter is he, he offered a, a, a brief syllogism that— uh, if the Christian God exists, then he would believe in him. He doesn't believe in him. Therefore, the Christian God doesn't exist. Here's the problem. Okay. When we look at the premise, he doesn't believe in God. Okay. Either he doesn't believe in God with a reason or without reason. Okay. Now, do you think that he's going to concede that he doesn't believe in God? Uh, he, he does not believe in God without a reason. So then if he says he has a reason, okay, for that belief, then this crosses over into the territory of knowledge. It's not reason with a warrant or a justification, which would be knowledge. So then how does he know that God doesn't exist? Based upon what? How could he defend that? The answer is he couldn't. So the only way to avoid this is he would have to say, I don't believe in God, and I do so irrationally. And that is precisely what the Bible says they do. Look, That's Tom, uh, 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 do, do you think if he actually felt he was intellectually uh, adept and capable of defending atheism, do you think he would resort to these shenanigans? No, he wouldn't. What I wonder is this, um, he said premise one, either the Christian God exists or no, no God exists. And I don't know if that, if that is what you defend, but I wouldn't specify God as specifically the Christian God. I would just make the dichotomy, either there is a God or gods or there aren't. That's a true dichotomy. Yeah. I wouldn't specify uh, right at the beginning that we are talking about the Christian God. I don't know if he, if he was trying to still make you on that. Can you clarify? In no, regards no, to no. That? It was all, listen, listen. It was all a, I mean, he's a, he's a, a grown adult. This is all adolescent ant antics. Like he's at the cafeteria table lunch hour. Okay. That's how bad it is. This is how bad these atheists, they have to do shtick, they have to do vaudeville, they have to do kabuki dances. But you know, you know, the entire one hour of conversation with him, he always returned back to that 
same question and you never answered it. Right? Because these would these okay, do you understand that when my interlocutors are trying to throw out diversionary tactics, I'm not gonna go for the bait. You understand? Well, sometimes it's fun to go for the bait. I'm done. Okay. With that. Well, well, then, then, then go for it. Okay. Yeah. So, I, so I, I'm not if, your I'm not your sock puppet. No, of course not. But I w I'm just wondering. Let's suppose you would have um, accepted to answer his question. What would have been it? He he would have he would have gotten destroyed, as the atheists do. It's not that substantive, okay? Do, do, okay, do, so do how these, would you answer? Well, oh, oh, okay, Re give me the question precisely and I'll show you how to answer it. Okay. Um, you have affirmed, he asked in, in different versions, but essentially always the same thing. You have affirmed that either the Christian God exists or no God exists, so there's only one God to talk about. And then again, if the Christian God is falsified or there is an incoherency in the concept of the Christian God, it follows that no God exists if the No, 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 it, that, no, you're not understanding. That's what he said. Right? That, that's what he said. That, that, that's, the, that's yeah, what he no, said. That, that's what he asked you. No, no, no. Um, it only follows from within the Christian worldview that either the, Christ, either the Christian God exists or he does not. Outside of the Christian worldview, that, that dichotomy wouldn't hold. Right. Okay. No secret at all. I think if okay. you would have answered just this, probably the entire conversation would have gone. If, if, if you, can't, you can't step outside the Christian worldview and say either the Christian God exists or no God exists. You can't say that. That's what he uh, asked you. That's yeah, well that, well, that, you. well, that proposition can only be maintained within the Christian worldview. But he, uh, he supposedly said that you make that claim. No, I, I, I say the only God that can and does exist is the Christian God. That's my claim. Right. But that's not what he said that you say. He said that you say you have affirmed, that's what he's claiming, that either the Christian God exists or no God exists. Yeah, that's a dichotomy that can only be invoked out of the Christian worldview. I would say, you said differently uh, right before that. You said... You can only Christian offer... Framework. Look, Antangelo, you can only offer the hypothetical um, dichotomy only within the Christian worldview. Outside of the Christian worldview, you couldn't. Okay. Well, you could look, say. You could look, say. Okay. Did you hear him say the Christ, If the Christian God exists, he would believe in him. Premise two: He doesn't believe in the Christian God. Conclusion: God doesn't exist. You heard that, right? That is asinine. This is this is adolescent at its best reasoning. It's sophistry, because I can just simply just say. When you don't believe in God, do you believe in God with a reason or without reason? I am not right? sure, but I think he tried to take advantage of when you said. He didn't take. When you are you up to? You know. You know. So, you know what? I like you, Antonio. I think you're a very smart guy. But sometimes I, I just I don't get your judgment. He's not that smart. He's not a good debater. All he was doing was shtick. The whole time. Do you know what shtick is? Do you know what the Yiddish word shtick means? Uh, I, know, I know what it is. Yeah. That's all he was doing. I, I agree with what you just said. Either when, when we are talking about the Christian framework, either the Christian God exists or the Christian God does not exist. But you cannot say... Either the Christian God exists or no God exists. Maybe the Christian God doesn't exist, but a, a, a God from another religion exists. I don't know if he was trying uh, uh, to say that you are wrong None of, in regards listen, listen, to that. Listen, all of my response was simply to showcase he was not a sincere interlocutor. This was all a performance. 
This, he wasn't, there wasn't a sincere syllable or consonant in anything he said. Okay. I think we can say either there the is a God The atheists God. weren't even, listen, even the atheists don't believe that his performance was good. Those who made those comments that he did well in the comment section, they're just, they're just psychotic. He didn't. If he actually had the intellectual ability to debate the issue, he would have. Did he present it? But he didn't. Well, Dart, I think what we can say? say two things. We can say either there is a God or gods, or there is no God. That's a true dichotomy. Or we can say there is the Christian God or there is not the Christian God. That is also a true and correct dichotomy. But we no, cannot say no, no, there can't be there can't look, there can't be gods plural, because that would not be coherent. Because in order to be God, you have to be ultimate. If there's more than one God, then neither one of them would be ultimate and they wouldn't be God. Oh, I we're not talk we're not talking about creatures that have superpowers that we call gods. When we talk about the word God, we're talking about creator. We're talking about the ultimate, the absolute. Okay, my point is to make correct dichotomies, okay? So you can either say there is a God or there is no God, or you can say there is no Christ there is a Christian God or there is no Christian God. But if you say either there is the Christian God or there is no God at all, no. yeah. then you, 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 can say you go... E either there's a God or not. Right. And the Christian God is the only viable candidate all other God concepts implode. They're not coherent. Right, right. but that's uh, already a second question which comes after that. We have a there, job, can't, there can't be multiple gods with a capital G. We have a person in ultimate. here. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I'm just saying, we have a person in here who called you a piece of ass earlier. Well, why did you do that? Al Alambert, right? Who he called him said, to ask. Can you defend that? Who 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 did? Alambert <sighs> who? What's the username? Oh Alambert. Alambert. Okay, so why did you call me that, Alambert? So what we have is we have a, a drive by troll. Okay. You know, they, they want to they say nasty things about me, but when I ask them to repeat and support what they say, all of a sudden, they're as quiet as a church mouse. And if you're fearful of getting muted, I'll guarantee you won't get muted, okay? You can, you can have 60 minutes, you can have two minutes, three minutes of uninterrupted time. What spineless jellyfishes they are. Um, Dart, is Tom Rabbit permitted to come here to the Discord stream, or is he blocked or banned? Uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if he's banned. Okay. Check. Really but, 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 would, but, but, but yeah. he's not going to listen. Number one, one thing you can take to the bank is he's not going to come in here and converse as an honest adult. That's not something he's going to do, and the reason why is he's completely inept as an atheist to discuss and defend his atheism like an adult. I don't understand why in an hour, during one hour, he insisted in that question, which in my view is very easy to be answered and we just did it. So yeah, I don't know the reason why was. is why, well, my point is I'm not gonna segue on, uh, on until we resolve the issue. Well, I want to know is what kind of an atheist are you? That's all. And he refused to answer it. Do you know we have that question answered and resolved in 10 seconds on a regular he, basis? He claims hey, that he um, isn't an atheist. Maybe he's an agnostic or self describes himself as an agnostic. I don't know. Okay. But well, you know what? You know what? He's not really, look, he's not really interesting or worthy of being spoken about in terms of the regular atheists in the atheist community, okay? 
he's just he's just in it for the lulls. He's a he's a teenager trapped in an adult's body. We have somebody no, say on the side real quick. That I misspoke. I misspoke during the interaction, saying he was a um, a teenager trapped in a child's body. I misspoke. I should have said adult. Okay, he's not really that interesting. Okay, he's somebody who can't even get you know regular viewership for his channels unless he steals my content and records it. Yeah, I think yeah. it was I'm an not, entire I'm not hour. I agree with this whole thing, but that's true. That is, that is I true. I think it was an entire hour which was wasted. Of he course, was, he's, was he's a waste of time. Look, he's listen. He's just another loser atheist who's on his way to hell, and yet he mostly hangs out in the atheist ghettos where they can each give themselves back massages. Okay. Right? And make themselves feel good that they're not going to hell when they know that they are. Hey, listen, it's no skin off my nose if you mock or ridicule me, okay? You're, you're going you're gonna to stand before God. And all of these this shenanigans, these verbal shenanigans, isn't fooling anybody. You're not even fooling your other atheists because they know it's all incoherent claptrap themselves. They won't, they won't usually admit it, but they know it's claptrap. They know they can't defend the statement there is no evidence for God. They know it. Because if they if they could, they would. I've been asking atheists for years, defend the statement there is no evidence for God, and they can't do it. There are do you have a response to the argument provided? Uh, you're not welcome in here, chum. Uh yeah. So, um, yeah, that, was, that, that was another troll. I think I, my dad was talking to, um,